What is going on guys and gals? Justin Wall back again and I'm actually out here enjoying the view on top of the deck and I thought about this quote or saying that a lot of people say to me it's if you want to become part of the 1% you have to be willing to do what the other 99% is not willing to do. Okay, and that couldn't be more true, okay? I've been through it, I've experienced it, and I've put in the work that majority of people didn't really want to put in the effort for, right? And the number one thing I can say, guys, is if it's hard, okay, that doesn't necessarily mean you're doing it wrong. It doesn't necessarily mean you're doing it right. One of the biggest things for me, guys, is understanding what I'm doing and actually making true progress. If you're not making true progress, you may feel like you're working and you're grinding, but you're not actually compounding your successes or compounding your work every single day. You really want to make sure you're doing something proper, okay? You have a system that's proven. It's super, super important that you guys understand the difference between working hard and actually making progress, okay? Working hard and working smart and making progress are all different things, okay? If you work hard and you work smart and you're making progress, you're actually going to be able to go out there and see success. I've been noticing a lot of people say, Justin, Oh, it's so hard to stay consistent when you're not seeing success or just, you know, I know I'm on the right track, but when do I really have that breakthrough? When do I have that breakthrough that allows me to see that everything I've been doing has been working? And guys, it may take a little bit, okay? It's about the consistency day in and day out, like I said yesterday. And I know, you know, a lot of people, oh, consistency, right? But consistency is what you need to compound your small successes. And when you're compounding your small successes, you will see a bigger picture and in, in turn your actual results from the work that you're putting in. You really need to do what the 99% won't do to become part of the 1%. That's just, it just makes sense, okay? You wanna do what they're not doing because if they're not doing it, that means there's an open market, okay? There's a market gap, okay? I realized multiple market gaps and that's how I got my foot in the door to be, you know, someone you're watching today, okay? It's because I noticed market gaps and I capitalized based on what I saw. So that's something that you should be doing in your store as well. Notice things that are going on, okay? What are people not fulfilling and what are people not providing services with? What are people not selling, right? So understand where the market gap lies, whether it be a market, a niche, a service, a product, anything, and kind of capitalize on the absence of that, you know, whatever would, would be filled right there, okay? Capitalize on that and you could actually make the most of a gap and you could actually, you know, really scale something like that if you're the first one to it. You wanna make sure that you build a great infrastructure, okay? For example, start off a general store, find a few markets that are not completely saturated and find some unique products within them. What you could do is find top sellers on Amazon, write down all the markets in them and then go ahead and do some research on them to see if those markets are actually lucrative right now. And the number one thing I could say for you guys is if you see a successful product, try to find other products that are similar to it, okay, similar to it, and use differentiators that the other people who are selling something similar aren't saying, okay? Marketing is all copy, marketing is all persona, marketing is all human to human, okay? Give real reasons as to why someone should buy the product or not, okay? Give them real reasons and not the same reasons that everyone else is giving, okay? Give them differentiation, okay? Differentiation factors onto why they should buy your product over anyone else's. So I'm gonna be dropping in content like this in the group. This is just quick spur top of the head type of value. I just got done shooting a crap load of content in there, guys. So make sure that you guys stay tuned, put on post notifications in the group, and then you know, stay active in here, guys. You guys are absolutely crushing it. All the students, they've got Six Figures program, blowing it out of the water. I couldn't be more proud of you guys. So with that being said, stay tuned, okay? And make sure you got post notifications on of Beyond Six Figures, guys. That's, that's about it. Justin Wall, founder of Beyond Six Figures, and I'll talk to you guys soon.